When you've caught a fish, use a stretcher, if you have one, to transport the fish safely to where you are going to perform the tagging procedure. If you don't have a stretcher, support the fish under the pelvic fins and at the base of the tail. Keep the fish in a bucket of fresh seawater if you need time to prepare for your tagging procedure. For larger fish, we recommend you do use a stretcher, as it's likely you won't be able to lift the fish safely with your hands. Before tagging, a larger fish can be kept in calm, shallow water or a rock pool. When you're ready to begin, it's ideal to place the fish on a piece of wet mattress foam or a wet towel. To help keep the fish calm and to protect its eyes, cover its head with a cloth soaked in fresh seawater. Please keep your fish wet and in the water as much as possible for its greatest chance of survival. Don't place any unnecessary pressure on the fish as you handle it. Take care not to place your fingers in or near the gills. When a fish is out of its natural habitat, internal injuries and loss of mucus and scales can happen very easily. So take care. There are two ways to measure a bony fish. It all depends on the shape of the caudal or tail fin. If the fish has a forked or crescent-shaped tail, it should be measured from the tip of the snout to the fork or midpoint of the tail. If the tail is square or rounded, the measurement is taken from the tip of the snout to the extreme end of the tail. If you are using the tape measure from your tagging kit, place it underneath the fish to get the most accurate measurement. Make sure that when you are filling in your tagging data, you indicate which measurement was taken. Fork length or total length. To minimize the time the fish is out of water, have your tag and applicator ready. There are specific positions that are best for the placement of tags. On a bony fish, it's in the central region, just below the dorsal fin, but above the lateral line. When you have found your spot, use the point of the applicator to carefully remove a scale. This creates a natural gap to insert the tag. The area that we tag is sort of towards the end of the, the dorsal spines. These are the sharp spines and those are the dorsal rays, those are the soft ones. So just towards the end um, of, the, of the dorsal spine, sort of midships of the fish, and halfway between the dorsal fin and the lateral line is about the right area. The barb of the tag should always face down towards the fish so that it can hook into the bones of the fish's skeleton. Push the tag into the fish at an angle of 45 degrees so that it sticks out in the direction of the tail. This will prevent the tag from rubbing against the skin and won't create much drag in the water as the fish swims. Once you're finished tagging, return the fish to the ocean as soon as possible. When carrying the fish by hand, use a wet cloth and support the fish under the pelvic fins and at the base of the tail. A fish that is too large for a bucket should ideally be returned to the ocean using a stretcher. If you don't have a stretcher, carry the fish by cradling it in your arms. Take care not to place your fingers in or near the gills and don't squeeze the stomach too tightly. When releasing a fish, make sure the water is deep enough for it to swim in. Hold it upright in the water until it recovers and regains equilibrium. Then, let it go in the direction of the open sea. If the fish is not swimming at all, or heads back to shore, assist it and guide it in the right direction. Hold it upright so that water can move freely through the gills. <laughs>